it's very important to understand that if we are not serving God if we are not living for God not just believing but if we're not selling our soul to God if we're not his servants there is no neutral ground the other side of not serving God is being slave to sin and to the devil if you don't want to be God's servant you automatically become sin's slave it's not God punishing you saying if you don't want to serve me I'll make you pay it's just how life works life has no neutral ground there is God and there is the devil there is light and there is darkness there is kingdom of God and there is the kingdom of the devil there is Holy Spirit and there are demons there is heaven and there is hell and I'm sorry no purgatory there is one and there is another and there is no middle ground the problem we have as people sometimes and I find that but this is the thought that constantly motivates me to serve God is whenever I feel like serving God is too hard I always remind myself it's always harder being devil's slave I'll rather have God as my master instead of Satan as my monster I'll rather have Holy Spirit as my comforter than the devil as my condemner I'll rather sacrifice but those sacrifices only feel like sacrifices for a moment for a God who created me loved me thinks about me and cares about me and had his son die to death for me then serve somebody who's only out for one thing to destroy my life kill my life and drag me to hell with him so I want to encourage each one of you the price of serving God is never too high compared to the other side the privilege of working with people constantly is you get always reminded of the high price people pay when they become sin slave you constantly get broken with how devastating how painful and how deep in misery satan can bring someone so handsome someone so beautiful someone so gifted and someone so talented and it makes you go back into your own prayer room makes you go back to your own church and give you that fire and passion to say God I served you because well because you love me but now God I serve you because I really 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 love you everything I had all the problems God I just want to thank you because I've recognized my problems is other people's prayer requests the things I struggle with other people dream to have. God I recognize you know the things that you have blessed me with how good you've been to me and I am so undeserving. I will be your slave, your servant as long as I live. If you protect me from Satan's nasty, dirty, horrible hands crawling in my soul. You protect my soul God and I will live for you. Make that resolution with God. Make the decision with God. If you're suffering today, if sin's grip has broken your soul, if life's pain has caught up to you, if the burdens or heaviness are weighing you down and you can no longer bear it, don't play games with God by saying, God remove it so I can live for myself. There is no for myself. I can demonstrate it to you in a few seconds by turning off the lights and you will see immediately when light is gone darkness creeps in in a split second. It's not because the light leaves and light tells darkness or light punishes this place by saying well if you reject me I will pay you. No it's just how life works. There is no neutral ground. When you reject God being your master and you say I want to do whatever I want to do and want to keep God as an insurance policy or as a spare tire something happens you immediately move to the other side Jesus said he who doesn't gather with me scatters that's just how life works I want to challenge you today don't sit on the fence don't live a life in the middle life is too short when you serve the devil when you went clubbing when you went drinking you went all in you knew you knew it's bad you knew it's gonna destroy you both feet in you went in you didn't know how to dance you learned how to dance in the club and now you forgot all the dancing in the church 
you didn't have any money yet you found money to pay for other people you always went all out that is part of who our generation is if we go for something we go completely all out but when we come to God we become so reserved when we come to God many times we become so I'm just gonna give a little I'm just gonna raise my hand if Alexandra really sings the song that I really like and I'm in the spirit then I will lift my hands my friend kick the devil in the curb and tell him listen if I served you and you abused me I will serve God and he will bless me. 